So once we recover the eggs from the follicular fluid, we transfer the eggs to culture dishes. The eggs are held in an incubator for approximately five to six hours before we perform the insemination. So insemination may be performed either by what we call standard insemination or intracytoplasmic sperm injection. With standard insemination, we select that option for patients that have normal semen analysis results that are in the fertile range. We feel that it's best if the, the sperm can decide which sperm will enter the egg and fertilize the egg. And all we do is simply, um, we'll have two people in the lab, one witnesses the specimen um, for the person who's actually performing the insemination. So we have two people checking the identity of the specimen um, before we perform the insemination. If we're performing intracytoplasmic sperm injection, we also have the witness system in place. But what happens is, is that we transfer some of the modal sperm to a dish um, where we have drops that are loaded with the eggs. And the sperm are actually put in a solution that slows them down a little bit because they often are moving quite quickly. And we'll go in with our pipette select a good quality sperm that's demonstrating vigorous motility. Um, we then smash its tail or um, actually disrupt some of the membranes that usually are in, interrupt, disrupted during the regular fertilization or insemination process. And then we'll pick up that sperm and inject it directly into the egg.